Hello everyone and welcome to the Deeply Renegade podcast. My name is Molly, also known as the Deeply Renegade. And I'd like to welcome you guys to episode 137. I didn't check. That was silly of me. It's 138. I'm just always going to be one off. It is um, June 19th, 2016. I know I said I was going to record on Saturday, but I really wanted to finish this stupid thing. But as you can see, I have a pile of yarn wrapped around here. So, short answer, um, I started the border yesterday on this bad boy, which I'm now taking off of the needles. And it turned out I had miscalculated. So, I had, um, what was it? I had 26 and change repeats of the border pattern to do. And so then it was pretty simple change to make it so that I had 27. And then I forgot that 27 is an odd number. And then I judged the shawl thinking 27 was an even number, worked however many rows of border that was before realizing, no, some stitch count is uneven. Stitch count wasn't uneven. <laughs> I needed to, I could have worked a half a pattern, and I think that's actually what I'm going to do for this. Um, but it isn't quite balanced on the needles, so I'm not sure. But this is the Pemua shawl. It is um, paper pattern on Ravelry. Um, and just a level set, you guys. Um, this little marker here was where I was the last time I talked to you guys. So in the last um, 16 days, I've done this much all. I can't even show you in one shot. This much all. Ooh. <laughs> There's a lot of shawl. So, but that is everything that I did knitting wise as well. So you can keep this in mind. Um, let's see. So in that um, period of time, I managed to get through, or what was it? In the first week, I did 115 grams. This week, um, what is it? So it was probably about 320 grams to start. I got through to 199 in the first week, and now I'm to um, 144. So, um, but I've also been, whatever, doing the monogamy mania as well. So, there is that. Um, and now, what is it? I feel a lot better about the shawl, but I'm also a little angry at myself that I did that. <laughs> Ah, silliness. So, I'll figure something out. Um, short answer. It's probably not going to be the end of the world, but I just have to laugh at myself a little bit in the meantime. So, let's see. Um, if you've been following me on Instagram, that has probably been actually a much more interesting story because I've been, um, showing the progress of my shawl as it's been growing. Um, and I've been taking a daily shot of how far I am. <laughs> um, though I have a sneaking suspicion that today is going to be a little bit of negative progress overall. I really, like that's why I didn't record yesterday was because I really did actually want to be able to show the finished shawl and be like, ta-da! But, no. Um, so, I have definitely made my minimum requirement. Um, so that's good. Um, hopefully, or whatever, it seems like the odds are high that I'll be able to show you guys a finished shawl next week, which should be nice. Um, but, um, it probably says an awful lot about the power of going monogamous on something, especially when 
you have a lot more knitting time than usual. So, is there anything else? Um, shawl's not perfect. Um, there's definitely, um, uh, what would it be? There's definitely some interesting features about it. <laughs> um, uh, where's that computer? Um, like places where the pattern asks you to do something and then didn't ask you to do it otherwise, or me misreading the pattern because I, um, what is it? So even though I did have a lot of knitting time, it was um, knitting while listening. So that ends up making things a little bit different. Um, so I was trying not to constantly look down at the pattern or fiddle with my phone in order to get the next instruction. Um, and at this point, um, what is it? The pattern had a pretty clear um, progression to it, so it became a lot easier to just haul on it. Um, I was really... Oh, what would it be? Um, so, but what was it? So this morning I decided that um, there was something really broken about the shawl, which probably had something to do with the um, 14 repeats, the center, and then 13 repeats following it, which was not supposed to happen. <laughs> um, and... Um, uh, what is it? Other oh, such nonsense. So, um, and there was a lot of willfully silly knitting while I was had no business knitting. So, so just like, um, I'll be really excited to not be working on this project anymore. I am. It is dead to me now. <laughs> but I really want to get it over with before I move on to something much more exciting, like the hit of Fude. Um, or spinning, but I sort of just want to get this one out of the way so that um, uh, what is it? I can move my attention elsewhere. Um, and I'm setting up the border right now, which may be pretty silly as well. So there's that. Um, wasp. I hope it decides it doesn't want to hang out by me anymore. Um, so, in terms of other things, um, what is it? This show is going to be a super duper short one. In terms of other things, I should be able to record next week. Um, probably on the earlier end of next week instead of the later end, so that should be the 25th of June, I believe. We can check the calendar. Uh, next Saturday is the 25th. Okay. Hopefully that must was finally gone now. Um, and hopefully I'll have a little bit more to say and share because it feels like <laughs> even though I was gone for a long time, there were no new stash positions. There was, um, only frenzied shawl knitting for several days. So, Perhaps it'll be better if I just put photo collages into my blog post this time. <laughs> For those of you who are not on Instagram. Um, so, yeah, I think that's everything. I probably could have done this yesterday. <laughs> I was so hopeful that I would finish, and I was so wrong. So, um, with that, I hope you guys have a lovely week, and I look forward to talking to you next week. So, take care, guys. Bye-bye.